video is a little bit different because I'm doing it to say a great big huge thank you to you. Now, I'm Chris Ralph, the professional prospector, and what I'm doing is I'm wanting to say thank you and tell you how much I appreciate the community of prospectors and rock hounds that tune into my channel on YouTube. Now, recently, I got something special from YouTube, a silver play button, and that means that I have 100,000 or more subscribers, and the truth is I owe it all to you guys. Thank you for being a part of my ride to 100K. And we're only going to be going forward from here. There's so much left to do and say and talk about and enjoy and have fun out in the field prospecting, finding gold and gemstones and hard rock and silver veins and, and things like that. Now, my time on YouTube has been a real journey. I've been actively making YouTube videos for right at about five years. I started in April of 2019. And this happens to be my 228th video. Now, I try to do one once a week, and uh, if you figure five years times 52 weeks a year, it comes out to about 260. So you see, uh, 228, I've been close to coming out with one every week. I take a few weeks off now and then. A few years ago, I was in a bad auto accident, and I took, I think, about six weeks off just for that. So, but I'm doing good, and I'm looking forward to the season. We're going to be getting out and doing some exciting stuff in the field and talking about some really cool things related to prospecting. Now, like I say, I've been doing this for about five years, but I could have started a lot sooner. I I guess I wanted to. I signed up to do YouTube way back in 2011. And at the time I had a whole list of videos I wanted to make and I was kind of excited to do it. But you know, like a lot of things, you get busy, you get distracted. Believe me, I had plenty of other stuff to do. And I never really got around to doing the videos that I was hoping to do back then. And you know, it was kind of like, uh, number 20 on my list of top 10 things to get done. And so it wasn't until 2017, six years later, that I actually made my first video. I was I'm doing uh, field testing for a brand new metal detector from Mine Lab. It was called the Gold Monster 1000. And of course, it's been out now for years. But back in 2017, I told the guy I was dealing with at Mine Lab, I said, Hey, look, when you, you know, get this thing all finished and ironed out and you're ready to go into production with this metal detector, I'll do three YouTube videos and talk about using it and how to get the best out of it and using it out in the field. And I did just that. I did three YouTube videos on the Gold Monster 1000. They're still on my channel. And uh, they put a link to them on the Mind Lab website. And so people watched them and it was real popular. And like I say, at the time I thought, well, I'll, I'll really be doing a lot of videos now. But just like 2011, I got busy with other stuff and I got distracted and I never really got around to it. It wasn't until April of 2019 I was doing a GPAA gold show because the GPAA has these shows where they have vendors and, and I would give lectures and talks about prospecting and you know how to find more gold, the geology of gold deposits and, and a lot of related stuff to that. And uh, I was walking along at the show with a friend of mine, uh, Shannon Poe, who is uh, the head of American Mining Rights Association, uh, AMRA. Uh, it's a good outfit if you ever want to check them out. But anyway, I was talking to him and uh, Shannon turns to me and says, you know, we ought to record some of your presentations and put them on our YouTube channel. And I didn't, didn't say this to Shannon at the time, but in my head, I was thinking, I ought to record my own lectures and put them on my YouTube channel rather than being on his. And so, uh, you know, that was, for whatever reason, that was the, the impetus, the push that got me started into doing it. And I took some time to read about YouTube and learn about um, how to make some money on YouTube and that sort of thing. And I, I really got into it and I've been into it for five years ever since. And like I say, this is video number 228, which is a quite a large number of videos. 
You know, a lot of times I get people comment on my videos and they may say something like, hey Chris, could you make a video about XYZ or ABC? You know, some subject in, in related to prospecting or geology, rock hounding, something like that. And a lot of times what I tell them is, hey, I already made a video about that. Or sometimes I've made more than one. And, and so I'll, I'll you know, show them where I've made a, a, a video about that. And so, I, you know, I, what I would suggest to you guys, if you've enjoyed some of these videos, because I have such a huge back catalog of really cool prospecting related videos, geology, all this stuff. And you can go onto my channel site and click on videos and, and scroll down there and see if there isn't a whole bunch of those that you're interested in. I've had guys tell me that they did that and he says, man, I was binge watching a whole bunch of your videos. <laughs> so, you know, there's a lot of good stuff on there if you want to learn more about prospecting. And the truth is, if, if you've enjoyed my videos, but you've never actually subscribed, I want to urge you and encourage you to uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. It helps my viewership a little bit. It helps me, you know, do a little, a little bit more on YouTube. And the truth is, um, I don't do uh, things like Patreon or channel memberships or stuff like that. Um, I'm not trying to make money that way so I'm not hawking that i do have my book that i sell but I, I consider that a fair thing you know if you join patreon or, or um or channel memberships for youtube you pay some money to help support the channel but you know what do you get you know for that maybe you get to see a video a little early or something like that i don't know it just depends on the the uh, channel creator the person who's doing it what if anything that you get for your money but i figure with a book you're getting a book that has all kinds of great information and the stuff that will help you become a better prospector and so you pay some money for the book but you get something real something solid for your return and of course you don't even need to be uh, attached to a computer or a phone or a tablet or anything you know, you can read a book in the middle of nowhere when you're out camping so anyway i think the book is a fair deal and like i say subscribing kind of helps my channel make a little bit more money so i'd appreciate it if you did that you know, speaking of videos though, I have some great upcoming videos. Next Saturday, we'll drop my video on ultraviolet light prospecting. And I've had, you know, I, I mentioned ultraviolet light in a, a, a video, of, I don't know, several weeks back. And I said, hey, if you guys are interested in that, let me know. And I had a whole bunch of people say, yeah, yeah, I'd love to see that video. And so I'm coming out with it. It's coming out next week. And I think you'll be pretty impressed with what can be done with a, an ultraviolet light. Now, the, the truth is with ultraviolet light is that sometimes it works amazing and it's incredibly helpful and other times it doesn't do a darn thing and so when it doesn't do a darn thing it's completely useless but when it works it can be just super super helpful and get, let you see things that you wouldn't otherwise see so it has its place and when it works it's great I'm also going to be starting a series of videos on non-toxic leaching. You know, in the gold and silver mining industry, almost every big company uses cyanide to leach gold and silver. And I've actually done a video on that. But the truth is, you know, I wouldn't recommend for just the average Joe to be using cyanide. It's a deadly poison. And, and you can make mistakes with it and create a poisonous gas. You don't even have to, you know, put anything in your mouth. You can breathe it and it can kill you. Because actually cyanogen gas is the gas that a lot of states use in the gas chamber. So, yeah, I don't recommend cyanide for use in leaching. But there are some non-toxic leachants. And there are companies that market them. Um but they don't tell you what it is it's the big dark secret and because if, if they told you what they were do what they were selling you you'd just go out and buy it for a quarter of the price 
uh, then, then, and then they wouldn't be making that money, right? Well, when I do my leaching, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm using, exactly what the chemicals are. Um, I will tell you that there's not zero risk, even though the actual chemical that I'm using is non-toxic. But I'll explain all that in the videos, and I'm gonna do a bunch of them uh, over a period of time, uh, showing how you can leach gold and silver ores with non-toxic chemicals that are easily available and you know, you can get the gold and silver out of it, and I'll show you how I do it. So I think those will be of a lot of interest to a lot of you guys. I'm gonna, of course, be, as the weather's getting better, out metal detecting and sluicing and dry washing for gold. So I'm gonna be out doing that, and you're gonna see videos of me out digging gold in the field. I'm gonna talk about how you can uh, do research to find out what, if any, gold deposits exist near you. Now, I did a video just recently about, you know, is gold really in every creek and on every hillside? And, you know, the, the end conclusion of that is no, not really. But the truth is, is that there are small amounts of gold distributed over huge areas. And a lot of people live within a driving distance that you could get this someplace like that. So we're going to talk about, you know, is there really gold in my backyard and how do I find the nearest gold to me? And then another thing I want to do is I'm looking at doing uh, one or maybe two videos on doing research with LIDAR. I don't know how many of you guys have ever uh, done anything with LIDAR, but you know, we've all used, or a lot of us have used, a Google Earth for years. And Google Earth can be amazingly helpful in helping you see where there's gold deposits or little old mines, diggings, and that kind of stuff. But the truth is, sometimes, especially in forest areas like in California and the Sierra Nevada, or other areas with trees and brush and that kind of stuff, even parts of Nevada are you know, grown over enough that it's hard to see all the diggings. Um, with LIDAR, you just look right through all the overgrowth and see where the surface has been disturbed. So it's an amazing tool. It's kind of new and, you know, a lot of prospectors are just getting started in it. So if you want to find out more about that, um, do let me know. You, you can send me a comment uh, for this video encouraging me to do the LiDAR video because I do intend to do that as well. Now, for those of you who pay attention, the price of gold has been shooting up. Um, it, it, as I'm recording this video, it's been just at and tickling underneath um, and just below uh, $2,400 US an ounce. Uh, the price in Australia, I think it's over 3,000 Australian dollars. But uh, the, the Aussie dollar is worth a little bit less on the open market than the US dollar. And the dollar values fluctuate over time. But it's, it's at a high price worldwide, whether you're in the US, Australia, Canada, or Mexico, or any other place around the globe, the price of gold is really up there. And that makes it a really great time for you to get involved. If you're new, dig in and find out. You don't have to spend $10,000 to buy a metal detector and a huge outfit. You can buy a $10 pan and take the shovel from your garage and maybe a, a couple other things and maybe a little pick or something like that, a little hand spade, and you can actually go out and dig and crevice for gold and stuff like that. And you can find some real gold. It's exciting. It's amazing. And uh, you, could, you can find out what people are getting excited about finding their own gold about, you know, what, what it's really like. So if you're new, I encourage you to get into it. And if you're an old hand, if you're doing it, and maybe you haven't done it much in the last couple of years, you know, now's the time to really get back into it because there's gold out there to be found. Uh, a TV show that I watched a little bit of the other day said there's, in just in the U.S., there's an estimated three trillion dollars worth of gold that's yet to be found. So you can get out there and find your share of that. And there are small amounts of gold, like I say, in many places, but we're going to talk about that in a separate video. Now, I'm not doing a real long video today. I'm not re doing real in-depth. Like I say, I really wanted to say a big thank you and show you my silver play button. 
and talk about how much I appreciate you guys. Uh, but we're, you know, talking about a few little related things. Uh, I'm not going into a real in-depth video this week simply because I've, I've got a medical procedure coming up tomorrow and they're going to put me out for the medical procedure. I'm, I'm you know, going to be under anesthesia. It's not a big deal. It's nothing to worry about. It's nothing to get upset over. I will certainly be back the next week and the weeks after that. It's just a it's a checkup kind of a thing. They want to take a look at some stuff. So it's it's not a big deal. Uh, but, you know, once they put you under, when you come out, you're kind of, uh, you know, kind of woozy. I won't be in the, the setup for filming a video like I'm doing today because, you know, I'm getting stuff done and getting ready for the procedure because I'm not going to get anything done tomorrow when I get the procedure. Now, I mentioned my book and... the. The thing I always say with my videos is that uh, prospecting and rock hounding seriously is one of those things where the more you know, the better off you are. And, and the book is there for the important thing of kind of transferring to you the more than 40 years of knowledge and, and experience that I have, including my degree in mine engineering, to, to give you some of that so that when you head out into the field, you'll be in a lot better shape. Because the more you know, the more likely you're going to be successful. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about my book right now. So this is my book, Fistful of Gold. You can see it's an encyclopedia distilling down my 45 plus years of prospecting experience plus my degree into the parts that you need to know. I spent most of 10 years writing this. It was not just a simple effort that, uh, oh, I sat down and wrote it. You can see it's like a quarter of a million words. It's not something you're going to read through in a day or maybe even a week or more. But it's got a lot of information and reference material that you can come back to. You, know, you can read it once and read it again and get more out of it because there's just that much depth of material in this. I wrote this book because I want you to have the skills to go out and find fistfuls of gold for yourself. And if you have the skills and know what you're doing and get out in the field and make a real effort, you can find significant gold. It's not easy. I'm not going to tell you that because, you know, gold, it, it wouldn't be, you know, close to $2,000 an ounce, which is what it is right now. It wouldn't be so expensive if it was easy to find. It's not easy. You just can't walk out into an old gold field and start picking up nuggets. If the, if the gold was easy to see and find, the old timers would have picked it up and taken it themselves. So you got to have skill. You got to know what you're doing. You got to be able to, to master what it takes to find gold. And you've got to have the persistence and put in the effort to find the material, to find the gold or diamonds or gemstones that you're looking for. Now, this has book has geology, it has facts about gold, it has stuff about diamonds and platinum, but it's mostly about gold, gold deposits, how gold deposits form, how placer and nuggets form, you know, all the questions you probably wanted to ask. The book is available on Amazon, and I'll put a link to it in the description below, but you can look up on Amazon, This Full of Gold and, by Chris Ralph, and find this book. Now, the book, if you look on it, it has a very high rating. It has like a 4.7 or 4.8 out of 5, which is really high. I mean, it's hard to please everybody, but I'm close to a 5 out of 5, not far from it, right? So it's been out. I've sold more than 15,000 copies of this book, and I've had tremendous response, tremendous positive response by the people who buy it. And I think if you buy it, you'll be just as happy with it. Now, in addition to my book, I also have a website that I do. And I'll tell you a little bit more about my website and show you some images from the website right now. 
Now, my website is NevadaOutbackGems.com, and I'll put a link to the prospecting page, this prospecting encyclopedia page, down in the description below, but you can find it at Nevada Outback Gems. Uh, I sell some jewelry, turquoise, other gemstones there. Uh, I don't always keep the uh, inventory perfectly up to date, so if you're interested in anything you see, do contact me first before trying to send me money or anything, because I want you to be able to get what you order. But the website has lots of different stories, old adventures, uh, even some stories, uh, true stories from the old time miners of the 1800s. So I think it's uh, something you'll find interesting. The other thing I want to go back to is that all my comments, I want you guys to ask questions on the comments for my videos. I answer 100% of the comments that are made on my videos. Now, sometimes if somebody just says, hey, great video, I really enjoyed it, you know, I, I, the comment may just be, well, I'm really glad you liked it. Uh, or, or, you know, if it's a simple question, um, and, and sometimes I get people who ask me questions, I would take a book to answer that question, and I recommend that they just buy the book. But I answer all my questions, I try to help people as much as I can, I'm here to help you. So if you're interested in gaining the skills, if you're interested in knowing what you need to know to be successful, follow along with me. Subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so that they'll let you know when I come out with new videos and I try to do that pretty much every Saturday morning. And you'll enjoy with me, you'll come along with me, we'll have an adventure together and we will find some nice gold and see what it's really like getting out in the woods or the deserts or the mountains wherever we land wherever the gold is wherever the diamonds are wherever the platinum is come along we'll have some fun and i'll see you real soon on the next video